Welcome to Real Estate of Mind, a farming group podcast. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate of Mind. I'm Andy Gutman, and this is one of our new segments entitled Tenant Talk. And we're going around talking to the wonderful groups that are within our buildings. Uh, today I'm out at 111 East Wisconsin, the corner of Water in Wisconsin in Milwaukee, uh, basically Maine and Maine in downtown Milwaukee. And uh, I have the good fortune today to be talking to Greg Herman of Loeb and Herman uh, in our building. Uh, Greg has been here since, well, Greg has not. His company has been here since 1962. Something like that, yeah. And uh, Greg is far too young for that, <laughs> but uh, welcome to the show. Thank you, Andy. Pleasure to be here. And thanks for being here. I thought we might start off today just talking about your firm. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you do and what you like best about it. I appreciate that. Our firm is, uh, was started around 1962 when uh, Leonard Loeb, whose name is still on the firm, unfortunately passed away a few years ago, but I'm sorry. Uh, treasured his uh, uh, partnership with me for uh, uh, so greatly and uh, decided that um, uh, family law was a distinct area of practice and should be handled by itself without practicing any other areas. And it was a specialty area. And so we started the firm then. Um, I joined it in 1984, and we're a small boutique firm. We um, uh, practice only in family law, which is primarily divorce. I'm uh, one of the few lawyers in Wisconsin that's a board-certified specialist in family law. And we are a firm that really tries to do very high-quality work and give very high service to our clients, which in this field means trying to resolve cases. And Divorce lawyers sometimes have a bad reputation, and people think that we're out fighting uh, and creating conflict, and actually the opposite is true. We try to work very hard to try to resolve issues and cases and help our clients. And that's such an important thing in what you do is, I, I liked um, one of the things that you said when, when you and I were just talking off microphone a few minutes ago, was that you know it's more important to take on cases and give them uh, more attention Take on the right cases that uh, that are beneficial, where you know there's a positive outcome, and uh, and really put in more. I kind of view it as the Jerry Maguire methodology of dealing with clients, where better service, more quality time, not not volume based. You're not churning and burning clients. You're really taking the time to get to know them and take care of their needs. And I thought that was really special. And, and we try to do it in a sense of looking uh, after our clients on an individual basis, what works best for them. Our, our motto here, which uh, uh, Mr. Loeb, uh, Leonard Loeb was the one who uh, said this originally, is our uh, goal is to get the best financial results we can for our client without creating or adding to the degree of animosity that would keep them from walking down the aisle together at their children's wedding. <laughs> so we, we try very hard to work in that setting because you know it's it's one thing to get good financial results for your client, and I'm not sure lawyers are doing any service if the two parties hate each other afterwards with such a ferocity that they keep fighting in the future. That is so true, and that's a difficult thing to do. I would imagine to get them to that point. It is. It is. It's a lot easier just to to be a blind advocate and. Uh, uh, go to war, uh, but actually the results are better if we treat people with respect, with kindness, and I call it using brains rather than brawn, and try to figure out solutions to problems rather than add to them. And that's what we pride ourselves on doing. So Greg, tell me, is there is there some moment in your career that was defining or something that that you like best about what you do or something you're most proud of accomplishing? Well, I'm fortunate I work in a firm that's encouraged uh, to get involved in various uh, bar association activities and activities within the practice of law where we're trying to actually improve the practice, not just represent clients, which is important and pays the bills. Um, and I've been involved in quite a bit of that and uh, very proud that I was uh, chair of not only the Milwaukee Bar Association Family Law Section and the State Bar Family Law uh -huh. Section, but the American Bar Family Law Section, which was 
quite an honor and uh, uh, a real challenge. But of everything that I've done, um, I spent uh, a number of years chairing a committee for the State Bar of Wisconsin to try to improve the practice of being a guardian ad litem. In a family law practice, uh, judges, if there's a dispute over children, appoint a lawyer as guardian ad litem mm. to represent the best interests of the child. And for a number of years, working in concert with some colleagues, um, we spent uh, quite a bit of work trying to improve the practice of guardians and light them through various rules and regulations and training requirements. Um, and it's worked out very, very well, I think. And I'm very proud to have had a role in doing something that I think, at least marginally, has eased what the uh, practice of divorce does for children. And because they're the, really the innocent victims of divorce. And uh, so I'm very proud of that in terms of what I think we've accomplished. It sounds like you should be. I mean, that's, you're absolutely right. You know, the, the worst victims, if you will, of divorce are the kids who had no, they had no say in the marriage and uh, certainly uh, are the ones affected the most. And so if you can ease their pain, their difficulties, their challenges, even a little bit. We're fortunate in uh, Wisconsin in particular in that um, we have a, a good system of guardians ad litem and we have judges that uh, care very much about protecting children. So uh, helping out in that area and doing some things in terms of the rules and regulations something I'm very proud of doing and I think is helpful. That's great. So are there any other areas of family law other than representing clients that you get involved in? Um, well, actually, yes. Um, um, over the past few years, I've done a certain amount of uh, service as a mediator, and um, about a uh, year and a half ago, I decided that uh, this is, might be something which I could even do a better job of if I was trained. So I got certified uh, by the University of Wisconsin Extension as a family law mediator. And uh, in the right case, mediation is a terrific way of helping people resolve their difficulties with a minimum amount of cost. And when I say cost, I mean both uh, emotional and financial cost. Oh, for uh, sure. Sometimes emotional <laughs> cost is a lot worse than the financial cost. Absolutely. Uh, and so we're, uh, I'm doing a, 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 a little bit more mediation these days and helping people out. Sometimes they're, the attorneys hire me, and, and I work with the attorneys to resolve it. Uh, sometimes people individually hire me depending on the case and what the issues are. And I found that to be very rewarding as well. That's fantastic. All right, Greg. Well, I really appreciate your time today. I know you got to get back to servicing the clients. Uh, but if any of our listeners want to learn how to get a hold of you, what's the best way to reach you for their needs? Well, our phone number is 414-272-5632. Uh, my email address is gherman at loebherman.com. But another way, and I'll also have a, a link to my email and our phone number, is go to our office website. It explains in more detail what our firm is, uh, our history of the firm, <laughs> and what type of services we provide. And our website is loebherman.com, L-O-E-B-H-E-R-M-A-N.com. We have information on there. You can even read some of the articles I've written, some of the publications I've done, my resume and all that, and also our contact information. Well, that's great. I'm sure your phone and email will now be off the hook for the <laughs> next, uh, <laughs> next couple of hours while people listen. Really appreciate you taking the time with me today. Uh, thank you for your decades of tenancy, and we really appreciate it. Look forward to many more, and uh, I look forward to hearing you on the radio with this. Thank you so much, Andy. Join us next time for another wonderful edition of Real Estate of Mind, a Farman Group podcast.